Hi, I've had a lot of questions lately about how well does the Echo work with the iPhone. In this video, I'll go over some of what does and does not work between the two of them. But first, I want to say hi, my name is Craig and this is my Tech Talk channel. Here I do tech tips and reviews. I love learning about stuff like this and sharing it with you. So if you have any comments or questions, please put them down below or tweet me at Craig Paulson. Also, check out the description for more information. There's links in there and anything I might have missed. Before I get started, a couple things. One, I wanna thank Craig from Across the Pond who first pitched this question after watching one of my other Echo videos. Thank you for the idea. Uh, number two, I did change the name of my Echo to computer. That way I don't set your device off at home and hopefully then I don't get a bunch of grumpy comments like I got from my first Echo video. Uh, the next thing is I'm gonna try something new. Uh, it's kind of a personal challenge for videos. I'm gonna see if I can release an echo-based video per week uh, for the next year, so 52 of them. So we're gonna call this week number one is going to be what works with this. Next week, I'll do a different subject. So it's kind of a personal challenge to see if I can find interest in this device and follow it and see where it really goes and see what kind of cool stuff it can do. Okay, let's get started. Uh, unfortunately, Echo cannot do any incoming phone calls, uh, in or outgoing text messages, any notifications that you receive on your iPhone, or any email support. It can, however, make outgoing calls based on the contacts of the phone that was used to set up the device. So for example, I could say, computer, call Craig Paulson's iPhone. Call Craig Paulson's iPhone, right? Yes. Calling. And there it is ringing now. So outgoing calls are cool. You could also, uh, let me stop this computer. Stop. Computer. Hang up. Echo does support calendars. So you can connect your calendar on your iPhone, such as Gmail or iCloud, to your Echo account. So you can say, computer. What's on my calendar for February 11th? On Sunday, February 11th, there are four events. At 8 a.m. there's workout. At 12 p.m. there's lunch with Cheryl. At 5 p.m. there's family dinner. And there's dog front line which lasts all day. <clears throat> oh, I gotta put on my flea stuff for my dogs. It's reminding me. So that right there, it'll tell you what you have coming up. You could ask anytime. You can also add stuff to your calendars, but you could only pick a specific calendar to add things to. So you are able to say something like, computer, add lunch at 12 to my calendar. Is that 12 o'clock in the morning or in the afternoon? Afternoon. On what day? February 11th. That's lunch on Sunday, February 11th at 12 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. Great, now if I go into my calendar, right there, I don't know if you could see that, my other one, whoop, it says lunch. I had lunch with Cheryl, now there's a new one that says lunch. So it does work nicely to add stuff. Next, let's talk about uh, Apple Music. There is no Apple Music support, which is a bummer for a lot of Apple fans. Uh, you cannot stream or request or ask for anything for Apple Music. The only thing that's supported is uh, asking for uh, music from either Amazon Prime, Prime Music, Amazon Unlimited, Spotify, Pandora, or iHeartRadio, and TuneIn. I'm sorry, Sirius XM. So you can get it from those music from those guys. The other alternative is to pair this as a Bluetooth speaker and to stream from your device and just treat it like a speaker. So that's usually what I do if I wanna to listen to Apple Music. But I also found that if you're a Prime member, there is a lot of stuff included so that you can just request a station such as computer. Play rock and roll. Playing rock and roll music. Uh -huh. Computer stuff. 
I remember when I could say, ask for rock, and it seemed like something cool would come out of the radio. So I'm not saying that that wasn't cool if you do like that, but anyways. Uh, next thing that does integrate nicely between these books is if you're into audio books, Audible, uh, if you have a subscription with them, you can sync the books that are between your devices. So if you do listen to something on your iPhone, because I do listen to some audio books, if I request that and on my Echo, it will uh, start playing the actual audio book on your Echo devices because Audible is a Amazon company. Next on the list would be there is no syncing between Reminders and the Notes app and the Echo. What you can do is you can set calendar events, you can set reminders in the Alexa app, uh, you could request and set these reminders. So computer, remind me tomorrow at 7 a.m. to go to the grocery store. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 7 a.m. So she'll remind me and that'll show up in the Alexa app under the reminders. I can also say, a computer, add cheese to my shopping list. I added cheese to your shopping list. Now, under the menu options in the Alexa app, you'll see there's list, and uh, that's where you can create lists, shopping lists, to-do list, and you can sync up that way. Unfortunately, my wife and I, we do use the reminders and sync between us so we can keep our shopping list that way, so this doesn't really help us out. Next would be smart devices. Uh, there is great integration in native control of the smart devices. So I have my Nest thermostat. I do have, this is a native app on the iPhone, but if you do have a smart device, you probably have the app installed on your phone. Uh, now I can go computer. What's the temperature in the family room? The family room temperature is 66 degrees. So that there checked in with my Nest thermostat. So if I wanted to, I could adjust that temperature asking for a specific temperature, which then would reflect on my, if I opened up the app on the iPhone, we'd see the change there. Most of the smart devices work that way, so you're gonna see that. So if I did request something on my, for uh, through the Philips Hue skill, it is going to show up and sync up through the app and reflect the change there. Okay, so after going through all of the native apps that are on your iPhone when you take it out of the box, those were the items that I found did and did not work together. There are third-party skills that you can use. Like for example, here, if I want to turn on my alarm, I would say computer, computer. Ask Scout to arm away mode. Now arming away mode. In 45 seconds, your system will be armed. So that right there just now activated my alarm, which is great. That isn't a native app, but the integration is nice. Now I don't want my alarm activated, so I can go into the app and easily turn it off there. Uh, what I found though, some of the skills and stuff can be a little wordy. I'm hoping some more, some more of these features start to get integrated now that Apple and Amazon are playing well together. I don't have a lot of faith that Apple Music is going to be integrated anytime soon, especially since they're both competing for business. Uh, but hopefully other things will start to tie in a little better. Uh, I know you got to, a lot of this stuff you have to understand that Amazon is going to want to keep you in their ecosystem. Apple's going to try to keep you in their ecosystem because they both want to sell us stuff. So please, if you have any tips that you can share with people, put them down in the comments section. And if you have any questions or like any more additional information, put those in the comments or tweet me at Craig Paulson. I'm trying to get a bigger Twitter following. So if you can follow me on Twitter, it'd be appreciated. Also, please think about subscribing. Check out future videos. Thank you for watching this one and have a great day. Happy New Year. Bye.